When we tie our shoelaces or open a bottle of soda, we do it on autopilot reflexively. Meanwhile, millions of people all around the world are deprived of this opportunity due to amputated limbs. Only a small part of these people can afford modern high-quality prostheses. The reason, as you may have guessed, is the cost. High-tech bionic arms can cost up to $80,000. However, this situation may change completely very soon. The Unlimited Tomorrow startup is ready to revolutionize prosthetics, and in this video, we'll show you exactly how. If five years ago you needed a bionic arm, then you would be faced with a relatively small choice, and this purchase would cost you a very substantial amount, from $35,000 to $70,000. To this day, bionic prostheses can hardly be called a mass-produced product. Developing smart limbs requires the involvement of engineers, biologists, and medical professionals. They are created individually and tailored to each person's needs. At the same time, in the process of fitting, it is sometimes necessary to make not one, but several models, although training and rehabilitation take weeks or even months. All this not only increases the cost, but also lengthens the process of fusion with a bionic limb, and forces up to 40% of people with amputations to refuse to use artificial prostheses. A project by 24-year-old Easton LaChapelle, founder of the Unlimited Tomorrow startup, is designed to fundamentally solve this problem. The young genius, who is called the next Elon Musk, proposed a qualitatively new way to create bionic prostheses, the development of which he started at the age of 14 in his own bedroom. About the idea of working on this project, Easton himself said, The reason why I started creating prosthetic limbs is because at a science exhibition, I met a young girl who had a very expensive prosthesis below the elbow which took months to create. And it just amazed me as at that time I was making prototypes of hand prostheses for a couple of hundred dollars. I just thought the technology could be much better. La Chapelle started the Unlimited Tomorrow startup a few years after showing his device at the Colorado State Science Fair, when he spotted that very young girl. A year later at the Science Fair at the White House, La Chapelle's development was highly praised by then-President Barack Obama. And sometime later, the story of the young inventor inspired the world-famous business coach Tony Robbins, so much that he decided to support Easton, initiated a fundraiser for 50 prostheses on the Indiegogo crowdfunding platform, and paid for another 50 prostheses from his budget. So, what's so outstanding about the young genius La Chapelle's creation? The founder of the Unlimited Tomorrow managed to reduce the cost of a bionic arm by almost 10 times, up to $8,000 by using 3D scanning of the stump and 3D printing of personalized prostheses. If earlier, a person with an amputated limb had to personally and repeatedly go to the prosthetist's office for fittings and consultations, then La Chapelle suggested entrusting the measurements and fitting of prostheses to the patients themselves. First, the Unlimited Tomorrow invites those who need a prosthesis to fill out a questionnaire. Based on this questionnaire, the company selects suitable candidates and sends them a 3D scanner directly to their homes, so that they can independently or with the help of loved ones scan a stump of an amputated limb without the direct involvement of a prosthetist. The 3D scanner comes with a skin tone map with over 450 options, from which you are able to choose a tone that matches your skin color. Next, the client sends digital molds as well as the selected tone to the company's office, where a professional prosthetist is engaged in the manufacture of a bionic arm. After receiving the initial data, the company prints on a 3D printer and sends several test prosthetic products to the patient for fitting. This stage is repeated until the client selects the perfect arm for themselves. After the selection of the optimal design is completed, the company sends the patient a personalized version of the bionic prosthesis. As a rule, the entire process from scanning to delivery takes about two weeks. According to La Chapelle himself, the True Limb prosthesis is not only super customized, but also incredibly comfortable and will almost not attract the attention of others. When creating an artificial arm, skin color, weight, shape, and size are taken into account. What's more, this prosthesis is much stronger than a human hand and can hold up to 22 kilograms of weight. In terms of functional characteristics, the True Limb prosthesis is not inferior to its expensive analogs. But due to 3D printing and the absence of unnecessary links in the production chain, such as prosthetists, third-party suppliers, and developers, such a prosthesis is 5 to 10 times cheaper than models of a similar level. 
The bionic arm designed by the Colorado Genius has many convenient features that were previously only used in fabulously expensive models. Multi-day battery life, adaptive grip, haptic feedback, individual finger control. Muscle sensors are built inside the prosthesis, which works on the basis of electroencephalography. They react to nerve impulses in the muscles of the amputated limb and perform six individual grab functions. Moreover, the True Limb has a built-in cloud connection, which automatically installs the latest software updates on the prosthesis as they become available. Jenny Mall became one of the first customers of the Unlimited Tomorrow. She was lucky enough to join the test group and receive a bionic prosthesis for free. Having lost her arm in a car accident, Jenny was able to regain her confidence after receiving an artificial smart arm. I couldn't stop crying when the FedEx courier handed me a box with the prosthesis. It changed my life. Just being able to hold something with one arm and open the door with the other may sound trivial, but it means so much to those who have lost their arm. So far, the Unlimited Tomorrow startup operates only in the United States, but Easton La Chapelle plans to enter the international market with his product. To do this, he has already moved from his garage in Colorado to a New York office, acquired a team of 14 people, and is successfully developing a project that can help hundreds of thousands of people who have lost one or two limbs or arms. At the same time, La Chapelle is developing lower limb prostheses. The importance of this startup is very accurately described by a recent tweet from HP mentioning La Chapelle. What started as a school science project has turned into a business that is changing the lives of many people through the efforts of a brilliant young investor. What do you think about this project? Please share your opinions in the comments below the video.